Number 5. The Aftermath is a 2019 historical drama film directed by James Kent and based on the novel of the same name by Ridian Brooke. The film stars Kira Knightley, Alexander Skarsgård, Jason Clark, Alexander Shear, and Finn O'Shea. Set in post-World War II Hamburg in 1946, the story follows Rachel and her husband Louis, a British colonel tasked with rebuilding the war-ravaged city. They are assigned to live in a grand mansion requisitioned by the British Army. Their lives are further complicated when they share the house with its previous owners, German architect Stefan and his teenage daughter Frieda, as tensions between the occupying forces and the defeated German Simmer. As Rachel struggles to adapt to her new surroundings and her strained marriage, she finds herself drawn to Stefan, leading to a forbidden romance that tests loyalties and allegiances in the aftermath of war. With its lush cinematography and compelling performances, the film delves into the emotional turmoil of individuals grappling with the aftermath of conflict, navigating personal desires amid societal expectations, and ultimately seeking redemption and healing in a shattered world. Everything can start again. Number 4 The Delinquent Season is a 2018 romantic drama film directed by Mark Oro. Set in a suburban community in Dublin. It revolves around two couples whose seemingly perfect relationships are tested when unexpected romantic connections emerge between them. Jim and Danny, played by Killian Murphy and Eva Berthesel, appear to have a stable marriage on the surface but harbor underlying issues. On the other hand, Chris and Yvonne, played by Andrew Scott and Catherine Walker, are friends of Jim and Danny, and their relationships intertwine as they navigate through life together. The narrative takes a dramatic turn when Jim and Yvonne find themselves drawn to each other, leading to turmoil within both couples. Jim and Danny are forced to confront their relationship problems, while Chris and Yvonne struggle with feelings of betrayal and confusion. As emotions escalate and tensions rise, the bonds of friendship and trust among the four characters are put to the test. Through nuanced characterizations and authentic dialogue, the film delves into the complexities of love, marriage, and friendship. It explores themes of desire, infidelity, and loyalty, reflecting the intricacies of human nature. You are beautiful to me. God, I like. Number 3 Unfaithful is a 2002 erotic thriller directed by Adrian Lyne, starring Diane Lane, Richard Gere, and Olivier Martinez. The film tells the story of a seemingly happy couple whose lives are turned upside down by an extramarital affair and its consequences. The plot revolves around Connie and Edward, a married couple whose marriage seems idyllic. Connie is a charming housewife and Edward is a busy businessman. Their marital bliss is disrupted when Connie meets Paul, a charming and attractive young man, while lost in Manhattan. What starts as a chance encounter quickly escalates into an irresistible emotional affair. As Connie's relationship with Paul deepens, she finds herself torn between her responsibilities to Edward and her passionate feelings for Paul. She struggles to balance her conflicting emotions, but finds herself increasingly unable to resist the allure of love and desire. Meanwhile, Edward becomes suspicious of Connie's behavior, ultimately uncovering her infidelity. As the story unfolds, Connie and Edward's marriage is thrown into turmoil as they grapple with the consequences of the affair and the psychological challenges it presents. Connie grapples with guilt and remorse, while Edward wrestles with feelings of betrayal and anger. Number 2 5 to 7 is a 2014 romantic drama film directed by Victor Levin. Starring Anton Yelchin, Berenice Marlowe, Olivia Tholby, and Lambert Wilson, the story is set in New York City and revolves around a young writer named Brian who meets a French woman named Ariel. They are immediately drawn to each other and embark on a passionate affair. However, their relationship is not conventional as Ariel is already married and adheres to a French tradition that allows her and her husband to have extramarital affairs between the hours of 5 to 7 p.m. Brian and Ariel's romance can only take place within this specific time frame. Despite the unusual circumstances, their connection deepens, and Brian finds himself falling deeply in love with Ariel. He also forms an unexpected friendship with Ariel's husband, Valerie. 
As the story unfolds, Brian and Ariel face various challenges and conflicts, including cultural differences and emotional turmoil. They must confront their feelings, values, and the complexities of their unconventional relationship. Number 1. Little Children is a 2006 American drama film directed by Todd Field, based on the novel of the same name by Tom Perota. The film stars Kate Winslet, Patrick Wilson, Jennifer Connelly, Jackie Earl Haley, and Greg Edelman. The story revolves around a group of residents living in a suburban Romanesque community in America. Kate Winslet plays Sarah Pierce, a young housewife and mother who feels bored and confined by the responsibilities of caring for her two children. Patrick Wilson plays Brad Adamson, a stay-at-home dad who feels insecure and defeated after failing the bar exam. Sarah and Brad meet at the park in their community and embark on an affair. Their relationship begins as a response to the dissatisfaction with their mundane family lives and daily routines, but as time goes on, their feelings become increasingly complex. Meanwhile, another character in the community, Ronnie McGorvey, a former police officer accused of child molestation, adds more tension and drama to the story. As the plot unfolds, the lives of these characters become intertwined and influence one another. They grapple with inner struggles, moral dilemmas, and the pursuit of fulfillment and love. The film delves deep into the emotions, desires, and societal pressures of modern life, showcasing the complexity and diversity of human nature.